In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at uh, intersection design uh, in 12D model. The traditional way to do intersection design in 12D was to bring in the CAD geometry for the curb returns or draw it in 12D and, uh, and create alignments for the curb returns and then, and then determine the vertical geometry uh, manually as well as uh, designing the vertical geometry manually uh, 12D's curb return function could be used which would which would determine the, the incoming grade and the height of strings and interpolate two curves uh, to, to tie in two roads but often this would be a repetitive process so over the last few revisions 12D has included components into the design and Components are parametric road objects that can be placed on existing design strings to generate complex geometry. This includes geometry for intersections such as this one, roundabouts, exit ramps, entry ramps, bus bays, parking bays, cul-de-sacs and hammerhead. For this intersection, we are, I'm going to demonstrate a minor intersection, the placement of a minor intersection, because it's, it's a single lane, a single lane roads. So to, to, to access the components, the component library, it's under design, roads, component, component library. And in here, these are the components that 12D has, can be, these are the components that can be used in 12D and can be manually changed to suit different standards. To place the component, you just have to go to design, roads, components, place component, and we're going to click mine intersection. And um, the the, the a minor intersection needs two horizontal alignments with vertical geometry. So I'll click the first road, click the second road, hit place, and you'll see that the curb returns have been placed. The good thing about using it as a function, as a, a place component function, is if, if we change the horizontal geometry of of one of the roads or both of the roads. and reapply that function it will move the geometry for us and that includes the vertical geometry also I'll just move it back quickly we then we then uh, cut the road strings back to the curb returns and apply a template on each curb return. So I've just uh, cut that out of the video just to speed up time but the, that's the finished section, finished intersection and you can see it in perspective view. But that that uh, design wasn't what was proposed. What was proposed, proposed was this one. And I just want to show you how how quickly it can be changed using the place component editor. So I'll just quickly turn off the strings for the curb returns and the road strings for clarity. And to change the curb returns, we have to go to design, road, components, edit components. Click edit, edit definition. And in here we can change the radiuses of these curves. So we want it we want it to be three point radius. So we change it to three centered. Fifty-five, fifty-five, eighteen. And on the next curve we want it to be a three point fifty-five, fifty-five, eighteen. And on these minor curves we want two centered. Uh, and we want 15 is 80 on 16 and this one two centered 15 is 80 16 
and the uh, the lanes have been widened as well to five meters for the major road and a second lane has been added 3.7 so I'm just going to add add that change it's five five and this one's had a, has a second lane two lanes I've already done it 3.7 3.7 so I'll just show you what it was what it was, what it was at one lane and now we have two lanes the uh, the taper angle change for the roads hasn't been included yet in version 11 so I can't I can't complete it as per this exact standard but I'm sure in the subsequent revisions it'll be included because our uh, place components actually only been added in the last in, since version 10 I believe or maybe version 9 the last two revisions so it's still a bit of a work on progress in some in some instances so now when I reapply my strings and sections it should reapply to the new to the new curb returns that didn't work because my model name had changed so I'm just going to quickly change reapply template left And then the uh, same for the other road. Oh, the joys of training videos. So I'll just quickly reapply my curb returns, uh, functions. Sorry about this. So now when we see it in perspective view, you'll notice that it is now reapplied to the new intersection. So I'll just quickly show you the benefits of setting it up this way. If I was to change the horizontal alignment and I was to reapply all my functions if I coded it correctly when I placed the components which I did not the joys of training videos Now we've moved moved the section moved the intersection 